Hello guys, this is Dr. Possibility from Excel Academy. In today's class, I'm just going to explain to you on how to go about question that has to deal with binary operation. So binary operation is all about showing the relationship between two sets of numbers. For example, when you talk of binary operation, we are just simply talking about multiplication, division, subtraction, and also addition. It can be said in those terms. So I'm not going to explain about the theory part, how it originated and other stuff. So let me quickly give examples on binary operation. So let's quickly get started. So, I'll quickly give examples on this uh, topic. So, I'll write examples. Okay. So, the first example is, um, let's star, okay, let's star be the binary operation. Let's star be the binary operation binary operation okay on sets of integers on sets of integers okay so when you talk of integers we are just talking about um positive and negative numbers defined by defined by so you have been given that let's the star be the binary operation okay so this binary operation is being defined by a star b be equal to um a b minus open brackets a minus b a minus b squared okay so this is what you have been given then the question follows so the first question you have been asked is show that the binary operation is commutative so the first question which is show that show that the binary operation is commutative show that the binary operation is commutative okay then the next one is um evaluates the next one is evaluates okay evaluates the first one which is um negative one star open bracket two star three close brackets then the second one is um negative one star two close bracket star three so let's quickly look at this question and Let's quickly see how you can go about it. So binary operation is one of the must know topic which each and every student is supposed to know. And this is one of the simplest topic you can ever encounter. So let's look at the solution. The first thing we have been told is to show if the binary operation A star B is equal to AB minus a minus b squared is commutative so for a binary operation binary operation to be commutative for a binary operation to be commutative okay for a binary operation to be commutative a star b should be equal to b star a for a binary operation to be commutative a star b should be equal to b star a so this is the rule that each one of us is supposed to know when you talk of commutativity now what do we mean so when we talk of numbers this we simply mean that for a binary operation to be commutative for example one plus two is the same as 2 plus 1. These are the same thing. So this relationship is said to be commutative. But we are not talking about this. We are talking about what? The, the operation which we have been given. So let's quickly solve the operation which we have been given. 
So we have been given that operation and we are saying for a binary operation to be commutative, A star B should be equal to B star A. So we are going to say taking the left hand side which is A star B. Okay? Taking the left hand side which is A star B. So if we take the left hand side, we are going to know that we are going to have A star B is equal to a b minus open brackets a minus b squared so we're simply going to expand that we're going to say a star b is equal to a b minus you just simply expand that which is a minus b multiplied by a minus b because it is a squared from there a star b is equal to when you expand that you're going to have a b minus you're going to have a squared you're going to have a squared minus 2ab and then plus b squared so when you expand that that's what you are going to have so to expand that it's very easy you just say a times a a times negative b and then you say negative b times a and then negative b times negative b so from there Remember this negative was independent, so we're going to say a star b is simply equal to a b. This times that it's negative a squared plus two a b minus b squared. So if you were to arrange this these terms, you're going to discover that a b and two a b are like terms. So a star b is simply equal to uh, 3ab minus a squared minus b squared. And let's call this one as our expression 1. Now, we have said our expression 1 is that. And this is from the left hand side. So let's take the, the right hand side. So taking the right hand side you're going to have b star a meaning in the expression a star b is equal to a b minus a minus b squared where there is a you're going to be putting b where there is a you're going to be putting b like that in this case where there is a for a star b or for b star a where there is a you're going to be putting b and where there is b you're going to be putting a just like that and then there b there a so this means that we are going to have um b a minus b minus a squared like that so after we do that what is next for us so the next thing that we are going to do is we are going to say b star a is simply equal to b a minus we expand what is inside there which is b minus a open bracket b minus a close bracket like that when we multiply all what is inside there b star a will simply be equal to b a minus that times that it is um, b squared and then we are going to have plus a squared then we are going to have negative um, 2ba like that so after that ladies and gentlemen we are simply going to do what we are simply going to multiply that negative by everything that is inside so when we do that this is what we are going to have b star a will simply be equal to b a minus um minus b squared minus a squared plus 2 b a when this is worked on b star a will simply be equal to um 3 b a minus um b squared minus a squared this expression this expression can also be written as because b and a are variables 
b and a are variables so this expression b star a can also be written as um can also be written as 3ab minus b squared minus a squared this is expression number two so we are going to compare expression number two and expression number uh, one so you are going to find that this expression number one and expression number two they are one and the same so since since a star b is equal to b star a which is simply equal to 3ab minus a squared minus b squared the binary operation the binary operation is commutative the binary operation is commutative just like that you have simply simply solved that question so ladies and gentlemen if you are not clear at any point kindly replay the video and make sure that you follow up each and every step please also make sure that you subscribe to our youtube channel and you can also follow us on facebook through the page excel academy so ladies and gentlemen let's continue and look at what we can say the next part we have been asked is to simply um, work out the expression which is um, negative 1 star open bracket 2 star 3 so if you look at this expression remember we are dealing with binary operation so when you are dealing with binary operation it's automatically known when you are dealing with binary operation, it's automatically known. What you are supposed to do is, you are dealing with the relationship between two given numbers. So you are going to get these two numbers. So work out this first. Work out this first. Remember, for you to work out this first, we are using the operation S to B is simply equal to a b minus a minus b squared so what we are simply going to work out is what is in the box so you are going to take two star three first and you are going to have where there is a you are going to put two so you are going to have two times what three minus open bracket two minus three squared remember where there is a you are going to put what uh two and where there is three you are going to put uh where there is b you are going to put three so this is giving us six minus open brackets which is negative one squared so when you work out that you're going to have two star three which is simply equal to six minus one so two star three is simply equal to five so after you work out that what's next are you supposed to do so remember from the expression we had we had negative one star open brackets two star three and then we have found that two star three is simply equal to five so this means that we now have negative one star five so we're going to now have negative 1 star 5 is equal to where there is a you're going to put negative 1 times where there is b you're going to put 5 minus you say negative 1 minus 5 uh, squared so negative 1 star 5 is simply equal to negative 6 minus um, 36 so from there ladies and gentlemen what you are going to have is negative 1 star 5 negative 1 star 5 is simply equal to negative 42 so ladies and gentlemen this was the answer for the first one let's quickly look at the next one 
So the next one is, um, let's say you have uh, open brackets negative 1 star 2 close brackets star 3. That's what we have been given. So just like I said in the first example, you are first going to work out that. So work out that first. So you're going to work out this first. So you're going to say, remember we have S star B is equal to AB minus A minus B square. So where there is A, you're going to put negative 1. And where there is B, you're going to put 2. What are we going to do? So you're going to do negative 1 star 2 is simply equal to negative 1 times 2 minus neg 1 minus 2 squared this is giving you negative 1 star 2 is simply equal to negative 2 minus negative 3 squared from there negative 1 star 2 is simply equal to negative 2 minus 9 ladies and gentlemen with that being worked on we are simply going to have negative 1 star 2 is simply equal to negative 11. Remember, we have negative 1 star 2 brackets star 3. This means that this part has been replaced by negative 11. So we are going to have negative 11 star 3. So the next part we are going to look at is negative 11 star 3. So let's quickly solve that and we call it a day. So we are going to have negative 11 star 3 is simply equal to negative 11, negative 11 times 3 minus open bracket negative 11 minus 3 squared. So with that being done, what are we going to do next? Ladies and gentlemen, in the meantime, make sure that you register with Excel Academy and make sure that you contact us on our line, which is 0965887529. Um, Please make sure that you register with us. All right. So let's quickly look at what we are looking for. Negative 11 star 3 will simply be equal to negative 33 minus you know they are inside it will be negative 14 squared so negative 11 star 3 is simply equal to negative 33 minus so let's say 14 squared is just simply equal to 196 after we do that What's remaining for us is just to work out that. So negative 11 star 3 is simply equal to, uh, when you work out that, it's going to be, um, it's going to be, it's going to be negative 199, negative 199. So, ladies and gentlemen, this was the answer for the last question. Please make sure that you get in touch with us on positive 26 or 9